Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and welcome back to Gex 3, Deep Pocket Gecko. Or Deep Cover Gecko, depends on who you ask. Let's get it going. It is time for Mystery TV, Clueless in Seattle. In this level, we must survive the hedge maze, break three blood coolers, and steal the magic sword from the Ghost Knight. There are also 100 butterfly tokens to collect, and some other stuff too. That's probably our way out in order to get the, um, the remote for the hedge maze. in here. Oh. Okay. Seems like we can go over there. Um, I'm not entirely sure what these bugs do. I do know that um, I've basically gotten some additional ability of some sort, but I don't know what it is. Ah. I've broken one blood cooler. But that's not what we're trying to do right now. We are trying to survive the hedge maze. I do know that while I have a bug flying around my head, um, I can take one hit and remain unharmed. Which unfortunately I've already taken that hit. There are a few different kinds of bugs. Again, I just don't know what does what, so... Oh well. Maybe we'll figure this out. Maybe we won't. Not too worried about it. I believe this is the exit that, um... Really? And jump on the surface of the water, apparently. Yeah, this is the exit that... Uh... The opening cutscene was, um... Showing us, so... Also, a bonus coin, I believe, if we go this way. Hmm. And also a gecko token, which was enough to give us an additional hit. And another gecko token. Did we get all of them already? Yeah, we did. Everything was in this area. Okay. Well, at least we won't have to worry about it. Okay, so apparently the, um... The remote was not there. Game was misleading us. Oh, here it is. We have survived the hedge maze, as treacherous as it wasn't. All right, back in we go, and we will break three blood coolers. Shall you give us an example? There it is. That's what we need to destroy. Of course, we've seen one already, so, you know, it's not exactly a surprise. I think for the most part, we can stay clear of the, um, of the hedge maze. Unless, of course, we were trying to get all the butterfly tokens, which we're not, so... Hmm. Of 
course, it wouldn't be a mansion if it didn't have, like, a thousand doors to enter. Oh dear. That was a bit of a fall. Fortunately, Gex does not suffer the um, ailment of fall damage. What was in here? Oh, we haven't been in here. Nothing terribly interesting in here. I wonder if we can go into the fireplace. Looks like no. I think we've already been in here. Oh, here's another one. We've already seen where the third one is, it's just a matter of uh, getting back there, and I think it's just all the way down. So let's do that. Hmm. Seems to recall not looking for very long for it. I think there's in here. And bounce up there. And that'll be the TV where the remote appears after destroying this blood cooler. Ta-da! Okie doke! Time for the third remote. Steal the magic sword from the Ghost Knight. It's a matter of finding where that is. Which I think is going to be the biggest challenge here. Because this place is fairly extensive. Hmm. I think the way up was through here. Try going all the way up. Is this going upward? I don't know. I think so, because this is the top of the level. Well on our way to destroying all of the blood coolers again, but this will not be useful for us. Hmm. I have an inkling that it's going to be just up there. Get da 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 get da 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 da. Basically, just a man, um, matter of till jumping over to this door. Oh, yeah, there we go. Apparently, it's just not a simple matter of A simple matter of just running through the door because that would be too easy. Ah. What the heck am I supposed to do? Do I need to jump on him? Well, I certainly don't need him to spawn into me. No, that's a terrible idea. I think I might put down the save state. 
As much as I don't really like to use save states, um, I'm going to put one down to avoid having to do this whole climbing thing again. Ah. Mm. Dang it. Will you please tail jump when I tell you to? See? It's not that hard. There we go. Put a save state there. Apparently jumping on him is not the answer. Also, exiting the room is probably not the answer either. Oh yeah. There we go. Took him down. Took a couple of tries is all. And that is all the remotes. Okay. Well, that's pretty much all we can do in that um, mini hub. I don't think I'm going to be able to go into either of these levels. Yeah, I don't have enough remotes for this. I have a feeling like this game is going to be kind of short. And that's fine. Aha! Tut TV! Holy Moses! So we need to recover the three staffs of Ra, release the spirits from the three lost arcs, and ride the raft into the ancient temple. And those, those are the staffs that we need to get. And TV's over there. And uh, we also have three in one. Just like every other level. I don't know why I bothered to check. Oh, hi. Oh, apparently I can stomp you. What the? Interesting. Ah! Did I tell you you could do that? There you go. So I think of you. Gah! You are a jerk. And I am an idiot. Oh. Huh. Apparently those are the ghosts we were looking for. Except we weren't really looking for them yet. Well, maybe you were. But who asked you? You're not the one playing this game. Unless you are. Which I have no way to refute. Of course, if you're playing this game specifically, I'm assuming it's because you don't have the um, luxury of... Um... Hey, what's up with that hand? Oh, that sucks. Apparently you can't deal with these guys. That's good to know. Okay, we still have the um, gecko token. We have to stomp the snakes. It doesn't help right now that um, half the time Gex isn't even jumping. I guess you have to specifically uh, jump 
onto the snakes and not fall onto them. Attempting to fall onto them will just result in damage. But yeah, if you're playing the, this game specifically, I assume that you don't have the uh, luxury of being able to play Gex 3 on the 64. Or even on the PlayStation. Actually, on the PlayStation would be even better, because you get actual cutscenes instead of just... Um, in-engine things. Imagine that I have to make the hand... Okay. I getcha. Boom. And one more time, for good measure. There you go. Down we go. This is a test of the emergency cannot walk into the spike system. Because the answer is yes, I can walk into the spikes and not take damage, but they still push me upward as though I was. Oh, I want to go up. There was nothing there anyway. Ow. Ow. Rude. Oh, here I am. Here I go again on my own. And I'm going to take this opportunity to get out of the level with the remote. It's not the one we were looking for, but, um, hey, it's an remote. Ah, release the spirits from the three lost arcs, that's what we did. Now we need to recover the three staffs of Ra. Ra, 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 says Boomba. Will you... Oh my goodness. This is Jazz Jackrabbit all over again. Jump, stupid. I mean, as if I could crush this myself. It would also be too easy. So. Okay. So at least I can do that. For some reason I can't look up the same way, I can only look down. And I really should be looking down, because seriously. Gans says seriously. Ah! No! Okay, apparently, that one doesn't... This uh, secret door on the other side. Let's see if I can time this correctly. And I can! Sometimes I amaze even myself.
Okay, I might uh, I might be um, convinced to use save states a little more liberally in this game. Jump. Yeah, um, this whole Gex game thing is um, starting to look a little more malicious than I had previously expected. Okay, I had meant to um, tail jump there, but I guess that didn't work. Try and get the um, stuff that's on that screen. Jump! Why do you not jump when I tell you to jump sometimes? going Oh really That was a really jerk move game Even for you well, That went a lot better than uh most of my previous attempts at getting up the uh, pyramid. Let's see. I think that there is an exit. Ah! Yeah. about the butterfly tokens, if I can help it. Ah! Seriously? Okay. No more Mr. Nice Coolio. This game apparently wants me dead. Of course I cannot stand for that. On the plus side, I got an additional life point. So I'm going to save right here. I'm gonna try something. That almost worked. I think if I jump right off the corner... Uh, I might make it, maybe? See how, see how close that was? I think I'm onto something here. Right off the corner, like that. Ah. Hmm. Wonder if it would work as well from down here. Yeah, that pretty much worked as well.
Just really a matter of timing. Dang it. Curse you! Eh, whatever. So right now I'm just going to worry about the current mission, which is um, getting the staves. And I'm using a save state, because seriously. Trying to act maliciously towards these uh, statues of Anubis. Really? <laughs> Gex, what are these things that you do? I am displeased with your services. I clearly ran directly into that. What the? Come on. Ah. That's why. Just to reiterate, I probably would not be using save states if it wasn't making me repeat the entire level every time. If it was like a, a more normal game where I'm able to just um, repeat the, the room that I'm in, then maybe I wouldn't go to that extent. Ride, ride the raft into the ancient temple, which we had started to do previously. You're a butt. You're also a butt. You're also a butt. All of yous are butts. guys are all SOBs. Sons of butts. Oh! This time, you want to go in the direction that I went that one time, and I thought I was going toward the um, bonus coin that is up there. Probably not going to get the bonus coin for this level, and that's okay. probably make more of an effort to get everything if I was playing the 64 version. It's all about timing. See? All about timing. I stay exactly here. 
I think I have the timing down. Okay. And ta-da! So, that is three of four modes found, which is going to be my goal for this game. Didn't get the bonus coin, don't really care. I'm cool if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.